This is an X5 BMW with a, a Fellet a footwell control module. Today we will show you the procedure how we replace and code in a, a second hand replacement footwell control module. At first we start with a diagnosis and we see uh, what is wrong exactly with the control module. The car came to the workshop with uh, the uh, main lights not working. Let's proceed in the, in the diagnosis to see what exactly uh, the system is giving us. We connect the iScan WT and we set up the uh, control unit. We do uh, a, a complete test, a vehicle complete test uh, at the begin. So we can locate which modules have been affected. And we clearly see that the footwell control module it's yes it's faulty we enter the system and we can see immediately that they are five codes in the memory the footwell control module uh, has five codes and uh, the description is as you can see completely electrical failure of the control module even the brake lights uh, the bra uh, brake uh, lights is are not working and uh, also there is a short circuit in the module it itself for first step we decide to clear the codes and we see how many of them if all of them they come back uh, immediately clear the four codes the car is with automatic height level uh, control yes clearing the four code four code clear it and read again and of course we see that uh, four of the five codes are still in in there we tried also to turn the light uh, the lights on no response we have the possibility to replace with uh, that one is a second hand control module okay we fit it on the on the car and we start the process for uh, programming and encoding ok coding and programming uh, we set up the car, yes and now we are going to uh, the process First of all, we have to set up the right date. Uh, 03. 03. And first, uh, this is 01. Okay. And uh, the, the scan tool is checking automatically. Uh, the VIN of the car but because on the module there is not uh, the same VIN we cannot base it. you can see that the scanner is checking the VIN by reading the correct car VIN from the CAS computer which is actually the security and the immobilizer computer Or 
these procedures usually take a little bit more time now system select ok we proceed on the body yes and we select number 14 which is the footwell control module ok programming and encoding yes We, ha we don't know exactly if this module is requiring programming the scanner automatically is going to tell us that uh, if it needs programming and encoding or only encoding according to the fin to the VIN the uh, uh, scan tool is looking for in its database to find the right software to download on the car now we have an information that uh, the ECCU cannot support programming so we uh, proceed press enter proceeding to encoding encoding is the configuration of the uh, uh, of the exact computer for example if the car has uh, um, sunroof or uh, any other auxiliary uh, components the ECU uh, now performs the encoding directly as I said before the encoding is a function which configures the, 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 the replacement control unit to the, uh, this vehicle the, the function was a success, yes everything was ok, okay. so uh, after that we uh, verify the fault by reading the fault codes the, the, the scanner indicates success in the encoding and we are going to uh, repeat the diagnostic process again we turn ignition off of course uh, to allow the uh, encoding being uh, permanently written on the control unit so uh, we select uh, again from the beginning BMW diagnosis FC E series yes and uh, we will see this time that the encoding has been gone, uh, gone away all the faults no fault codes in the system If you see number 14, footwell control module, it marks OK. Yeah. Yes, it's OK. and if go, we select to go individually in the uh, footwell control module no fault code thank you very much